morning. Hey guys. Look at my souls. Yeah, your souls are amazing. 136,608. I don't know where the yes. 8 comes from. I don't know okay. either. Uh, yeah, we did a little bit of soul grinding since the last episode. Uh, poison mist is set on your thing, so change it on the off chance that there's some yeah. reason. I was poison yeah. misting the shit out of the phalanx. Yeah, so and, what, what we're going to yeah. do really quick is we're just going to buy everything off of Big Hat, and then we're going to level up with what's left. Yep. <laughs> that's that's it. Uh, and then obviously we've got some stuff that we want to do in this episode. Yeah, let's so let's see. So anything that says zero held. We never put anything in the box, No, right? no, we never do. So yeah. just go ahead and buy one of these, one of the homing soul masses. Uh, actually, anything that you buy off of him disappears from his inventory anyway. Uh, you're almost out of souls already. You don't have enough wow. to level up anymore. <laughs> well, that's uh, fine. You should have bought that soul arrow off of him. Uh, I, and I already had one. Yeah, but if if it's still in his inventory, we still have to get it off of him. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, well, let's see what I yeah, have for... Pop all of your hard souls. Um... We should have just enough to finish up his inventory. <laughs> we will not be making a level, I don't think. I gotta be That's real with fine. you. That's fine. I so, don't think it's as important. Yeah. Uh, I think you're you're mostly still over the cold, right? Like you're, you're um, getting to the point where you're It's been fine. wavering back and forth. Yeah. I took a dip at some point. So now he I doesn't am, sleep. I am now significantly worse off than I was. <laughs> 30, so uh, we are doing this recording. You probably have enough in your hard souls for 30,000, yeah. by the way. Uh, we're now doing this recording currently, um, probably the day before this is going to go up. <laughs> and I have all of today spent it pretty much the entirety of the day sleeping. It's, yeah, he, um, um, he slept instead of picking me up from work. Yeah, I feel he's been, awful he's and been dead. Uh, you, wait, where been rough. Were you... Yeah. I'm really close, but oh, okay. like so getting just, another. You're just soul gonna kill something. Yeah, not out there. Let's do the guy in here. Yeah. So sorry if I sound kind of weird part of the way through this. I've got a cough drop in my mouth, and sometimes it's gonna slip down towards my teeth. And if that happens, I have to grab it with my tongue and move it out of the way, and yada yada yada. Yeah, I'm. I, I think everybody fine. knows how that goes. <laughs> if I'm talking, there's a foot down here, by the way. Did you notice that? Uh. Turn to your side. Turn to your side. Hey, you missed it. Uh, it's it's right where his dead body is. Uh, oh, it's not a foot. I'm sorry. My yeah, there's mistake. a bunch of chunks of metal. <laughs> yeah, that it's are like a big weird chunk of metal in a foot shape. Yeah, I don't know. What's up with that? I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna have exactly eight souls after this. Yeah, which is what you started with. Some and then an eight for some strange reason. Yeah, I don't know where the eight came from. I don't remember either. It's just weird. <laughs> Yeah, like, I'm mostly good, but once I've been talking for long enough, I'm probably going to cough. Sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, it's okay, because right. for the most part... Check to make sure he's got nothing else on him, by the way. No items to purchase. Okay. Talk to him, yeah. Huh. Secret of Seath's immortality? Have we heard this before? I don't remember. Huh. He's a true undead, which means he's different from everybody else. Undead is a weird word that's used sometimes to mean, like, immortal a little bit. So what he's trying to say is that, like, his, his, wo his wounds close promptly. No mortal blow will affect him. Uh, he, if he dies, doesn't respawn. He just heals the moment you hurt him. Okay, so the crystal's that thing I have yes. to fight. The, the thing I hit. Yeah. So what you have to do is break his primordial crystal, and then he stops being able to do that. But you already knew that, because you've yeah. gone in and fought him at least once. Yeah, we never actually got this exposition directly. You just told nope. me to go hit yep. that thing. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, by the way, um, someone psyched me out, and I almost got really mad at you mm -hmm. about this boss. Someone came, like, one of my friends went into Discord, because he had, like, checked in on our mm -hmm. LP. Like, he doesn't, like, watch it every time, but he was mm -hmm. like... Why are you doing that guy? He's an optional boss. And I was like, what the fuck? No. Yeah, no, and he, he double isn't. checked. He's like, oh yeah, he's no, not. No, Seath is 100% required. What Should the I go fuck? try and fight him? Um, Yeah, if you want to, you can. There's a, a mimic right by this door, by the way, that you haven't killed yet if you want to uh, kill this mimic. Uh, on the other side of the doorway. Oh. At least I think it's a mimic. Other side. Is that a mimic? I don't know. No, it's a chest. Okay. There's, I guess there's an item, then. <laughs> oh. My bad. Oh, hey. 
It we might be because we uh, we maybe killed somebody or something, and then it dropped in here, and we just didn't notice it or something like that. Weird. That, that does happen sometimes. Oh, well, let's let's look at that. Yeah, uh, it's actually the the armor for this is is really interesting lore wise. If you go up and and click it. All right. Helm of the Channelers, sorcerers that serve Seath the Scaleless. The six eyes arranged in two vertical columns compensate for Seath's, uh, Seath's lack of sight. Mm -hmm. So the heaviest of protective gear for sorcerers and imbued with magic. It's, it's really good sorcerer gear. Uh, Robe of the Channelers, sorcerers that serve Seath the Scaleless, even after the onset of Seath's madness. The Snatchers, as they were often called, ventured to far lands to find suitable human specimens. Mm -hmm. uh, and then these are They're just all the same. same, yeah. So the helmet is unique in that it tells you that Seath is blind and these guys see for Seath. So Seath sees through these assholes. And everything else tells you that they kidnap young maidens. Yeah, so I could just go and we can warp off to do whatever we c we're going to do. I could take a, a single attempt at what's his face yeah you can take an attempt uh i also want to tell you something weird that apparently i had forgotten and somebody reminded me of mm -hmm. uh when you get down into the seath fight you'll see what it wow his dead body was really dead yeah that was weird <laughs> i'm gonna take one attempt at this sorry for everyone who's tired of me doing this now mm -hmm. but we'll do one try and then we'll go off and do some other shit i don't think i'm gonna get it yeah, um, Seath the Scaleless was an optional boss in Kingsfield. That may have been what he was talking about. <laughs> I really doubt it, because most people don't even realize that Seath is in Kingsfield. <laughs> well, all I know is that he forgot that it was a required boss, and he was like, why are you doing that? Are you a masochist or something? Yeah, no, I was Seath like, is, no. not, is not uh, an optional boss. He is 100% required. You have to beat him to get to the final boss of this game. If you don't beat him, you are three out of four for opening a door that you have to open to beat the game. <laughs> so, yeah, no, there, there's no way. You, you can't just skip over Seath. Yeah. Uh, I was, I guess... like, you were taking a nap at the time. Yeah. And I, I was like, if this is true, I'm going to go into the bedroom and I'm going to roll Josh out of bed and call him a liar. No. I didn't. You know that I didn't do yeah, that. Well, so you know that we asleep, confirmed sure, that, but that yeah, that was no, not that's, a thing. That's totally not a thing. Remember, this guy's dead now. Yeah. Apparently, he stays dead and we didn't realize the entire time. So but we were fighting him There's a him bit of a weird pull there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, there's always a weird pull there. The geometry of that area is like really broken and weird for some strange reason. Why have I never gone down to that pillar? Is that a dead end? Um, No. You can go down to that pillar if you want, but there's another guy there, and there's no item. You've already gotten it. No, there's an item. See is that, that still? Yeah, oh, okay. I, uh, it's probably just a soul then. I'm going to leave it because I'm almost definitely going to have to come back here. Eventually, yeah. Um, yeah. So what I'm going to tell you is something that I completely forgot about Seath's boss fight. Mm -hmm. And there is a chance that people don't know this either. So, hey, it's interesting that I'm pointing it out. Uh, when you go in to fight him, run to the crystal and don't hit it. Okay. <laughs> Just just run past all the clams and, and past Seath on the right hand side like you always like you always do. Yeah. And then just run up to the crystal and, and stand near it but face Seath so that we can look at him. This guy's almost got me. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Try eight hundred million. It's good that we've gotten used to this fight though, I guess, to some extent. To I guess. some extent. I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to look, I'm trying to find the silver lining for this. So don't break the crystal, just stand near it. And, yeah. and turn around and watch Seath. Uh, yeah, the frame rate's awful because Seath fight. Yeah, why does he do that? Um, he's so incredibly gigantic and this area has a ton of particles. So start running when he starts to attack. Alright. Run around his backside when he does it. But wait until he, he actually does uh -huh. it. Give him just a second. There he goes. Okay, now go. Is so, he killing himself? Yes, hit his tail, hit his tail. You've got uh, free hits on his tail now. He gets... No, tip of the tail. You're way too far back. He gets uh, super pissed off, and he will actually stagger himself huh. for an extended period of time if he's the well, one who breaks the crystal. Yeah, but you you didn't capitalize on it enough. So well, it's I like, wasn't... Yeah, I mean, he was moving around yeah, I know. and off Yeah, no, 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 I understand, I understand. 
but, but yeah, like that's just, supposed just, to be like yeah. your chance. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it gives you extra time to do it. If he's the one who breaks it, you'll have like an extra full second to hit his tail. Uh, also, a I figured out that the second. tail has about like well, it's all you really need because the tail only has about eight hundred and fifty HP, and when there you it goes. bring it all the way down, then the tail pops right off. You, what you ought to be doing is like baiting him into hits before you run around to hit his tail. I guess. Yeah, so long as you're not touching like the curse related stuff, it's it's fine. Yeah, remind me. We oh yeah, we got the guy who can. Yeah, take we got away the guy. Curse. We we just we just have to spend curse at that point. All yeah. right. Or we have to spend. Sorry, we have to spend humanity to undo the curse. Which we have many of. Yeah. I don't think we're gonna get cursed seventy well, times. I mean, I hope probably not. not. It doesn't cost one humanity. It costs like five humanity. Or seven? Is it seven or eight humanity? I don't remember. I don't know. I think it's based on your soul level, and it is not just one humanity. Like, it's it's a lot of humanity per. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh. Yep, oh, he got you a little bit. A little bit. Yeah, you took some damage, too. Uh, y you might just want to just... Uh, Hit him? Yeah, just don't, don't bother with this right now. I mean, like, it, honestly, if you get really close, then we'll have to make a decision, and it'll be like, do you want to kill him, or do you want to actually try and get the sword? So it'll it'll wind up being a thing, but uh, for the Fuck. time being... Fuck! I was trying to run, and there was nowhere to run to for yeah. a second. No, that's fine. You didn't get cursed or nothing. Oh, that didn't even hurt that much. No, you... <laughs> You kind of, you hit it at a weird angle, I guess. I think I, I was, know. like, trapped in a fake wall <laughs> for a second. Uh, like, you the may crystal have had, like, no a idea. hitbox <laughs> issue. Yeah, you might have been. See, if you walk far enough away from him, he's probably not going to hit you. He's just going to try and sort of fail. Yeah. But uh, what he will do is he'll move himself trying to get towards you. So if you just hold off for a few seconds in one corner, he'll move towards that corner. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Yeah. And the chances of him hitting you from like a distance like this are really, really yeah. His low, radius is kind of precise. Yeah, he's he's really, really definitive about how much space he wants to to be able to hit you with. Uh, that might still be inside of his range. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Clam. Was that a clam? Yeah, oh, those are clam yeah. tendrils. Okay. Okay, I just need to get around this. Yeah. Good luck with that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I got it. Yeah, I see. I see you got it. Fuck. Yeah. There he goes. What people will usually do is drag him into the center of the room and then just wail on his tail when he, he turns around in such a way. I, I'm sorry to people who might find this boring that we've had to do this fight so many times, but it's like I really want to get the, the drop off of the tail. But honestly, at this point, it, it might not be worth it. You might just want to do it yourself. I don't know. Well, I haven't had much luck with hitting him normal style either. I don't Let's know. not it's, forget. It's up to you then. Okay. Okay. Uh, did I outrun it? No. 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 You're still taking damage. It wasn't a lot of damage because you didn't get hit by the beam. You just got hit by the residual crystal yeah. garbage. But it, it was not too much damage, and also you were. Um, All right. You had minimal in the way of like oh. actual curse going on. Yep. 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 Got it for a second. Yep, I saw it. You're getting there. Fuck. Hey, you got it! That's, that All was right. his drop. It's the Moonlight Greatsword. All Good right. job. Now his tail's gone. Is he gonna... Yeah, he's gonna tail. Yeah, he's, he's gonna he's gonna hate you. Uh, but now you can just murder him uh, and not even think about it. So... Yep. <laughs> he murdered you. <laughs> yep. Yep. But you got it, so it doesn't matter. Now we can just do actual fighting. Is the tip of his tail gonna come back? I think it does. Can but you get it, another it sword matter. off of it? No, no, you can't. You can only get the one sword per playthrough. Okay. Um, so, let's do something else for a okay. while, but let's look at this stupid fucking thing <laughs> you made you me go after. took you forever to get, yeah. Uh, is it, oh, it was right <sighs> yeah, here. Yeah, so that's the Moonlight Greatsword. Go ahead and hit over in. Yeah. There. This sword, one of the rare dragon weapons, came from the tail of Seath the Scaleless, the pale white dragon who betrayed his own. Seath is the grandfather of sorcery, and this sword is imbued with his magic, which shall be unleashed as a wave of moonlight. Does it shoot beams? It does. Oh. <laughs> That's actually Let's legitimately see, a have, beam sword. Um... It takes um, intelligence, uh, 28, and you have 15. 
Everything oh. else perfectly fine, but but it's the intelligence is the kicker. Will it let me put it on? It, it'll probably let you put it on. <coughs> yeah, I mean you can put on anything. It's it's whether or not you can use it that's the problem, and I think that it's uh, not going to let you use it. It doesn't look that special. Uh, swing it around a little. Is it still? Oh yeah, it's it's you don't have the stats to use. Okay. If there you okay. go. So the beam works, uh, even though you don't meet the requirements. It's just that the beam is like oh, kind of shit, to be honest. It just in that form. I was getting shot at. <laughs> yeah, but you saw it. You you shot yeah. a, a sword beam. There you go. Let's go do something else. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so last time you wanted to go kill a guy. Which guy? And oh, I yeah. told you yeah, I yeah, needed yeah. to go to um, bed. Yeah, go to the Daughter of Chaos, I guess would be where that is. By the way, I also still need to go to bed, but we're doing yeah, this anyway. <laughs> yeah, we got to do this anyway. I mean, we don't gotta, but... Well, we're out of footage yeah. entirely, so that's why we're, we're recording this. Like I said, this is the night that... It's coming out the day uh, uh, after this. So it's yeah. literally like we're, we're recording it 12 hours in advance. The, the chronology of our videos is weird sometimes. I was thinking it, about it that recently. It depends on whether or not we're sick, yeah. Um, but also, sometimes we'll have more footage of one thing or another, and we alternate them, so... Sometimes we'll refer to conversations that haven't yet been, like, posted. Yeah, yeah. We, we need to really hold back on doing that. If we're having conversations about things, we need to keep them in one playthrough and yeah. none of the others. Yeah, well, that's hard because they're all kind of, like, like it's just you and me talking to each I know, other in a room. I know, I it's, know. It's still, though. You know, we, we need to be more, we go in like, this way? aware of it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in fact, you kind of want to kill some of the, um, the ogres that are protecting their swamp. Okay, why? Because we need dung. Oh. We need dung to make this work, so... Weird? Yeah, it's a little weird. <laughs> Are you gonna explain it? I explained it the last time, but we're just gonna get dung and throw it at a guy. Uh, okay. <laughs> we're, it, we are going to have to, after that, uh, go back to the first bell tower, find the guy who worships Velka, and try and see if we can't pay to have our sins cleansed we will not have the souls enough for it but uh we want to figure out how much it will cost and then we want to pay that as fast as we can god i hate this lighting where's yeah, Shrek? there he is oh. right there there's two Fuck. <laughs> i'm surprised you couldn't see him it was pretty obvious no everything's so dark yeah. oh that's probably poop it's always poop i think they don't drop anything else like, honestly, I, I think they, they drop poop and only poop. I like when they die, their boulders fall on top of them. It's a really weird thing. Yeah. It's a little annoying that it doesn't do damage to them, though. <laughs> yeah. Like, I kind of wish it would do more damage more often. Like, oh, you hit him hard enough to stun him and he drops the boulder and then it just smashes his head. Yeah, but that would be kind of cartoonish and this game takes itself seriously. Yeah, uh, we'll need more than one, so you're going to have to go find some more. How much poop do I need to throw um, at one man? I, I'm going to guess it's like three. It's probably not that much, to be honest. Why am I doing this? Uh, Because we want to steal things from his body. And it has to be covered in poop. Yes, yes, yes we Won't have to cover him. Won't that diminish the value of the with. thing? Oh no, no, it's fine. We we can just clean it off. It's made of wood, so it's like meh. Uh, just wood with poop soaked into it. What is porous? <laughs> hey, look, it's it's better than if it was metal. Have you ever tried to clean like ogre poop out of metal? What? No. Hey, you're right. How it's would that it's be probably worse? actually like worse if it's wood, to be honest. <laughs> It's like when people say, oh, I don't mind if I drop a banana, or I don't mind if this banana gets covered in, like, you know, poison or things. Because it's like, hey, do you realize bananas are porous? Like, Yeah, the peel of a banana is not, like, shrink it's, wrap. It's full of holes, and they lead directly to the banana. <laughs> like, it's its own wrapper. It's its own natural, you know, candy bar wrapper. But at the same time... Yeah, it's not perfect. Why does that backstab not hurt them more? Because the boulder should fall on top of them. It, it's such a pain. Yeah, it's fine. I'm just glad the boulder doesn't drop on me when he dies. Yeah, I mean, that would maybe be a little more annoying, too. So I think uh, we have two dungs. Yeah, I don't know if two's going to be enough, though. Like I said, I, I want to say it's three. I, it might honestly just well, be I one. Well, I might just but have like, more. No, Let's you don't. See. We checked. We checked. You have zero. <laughs> 
Or you, you yeah, had zero when you started, so. And keep okay, those on then. your hot bar because you're going to want to use them. Yeah, I think they are there. Yeah. They, they are. I'm just letting you know. Like, keep them there. Don't take them off. There, there's no more ogres in this area. Okay. You're going to have to go sit down or just risk it with what you got. Well, the bonfire over here is just right over here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess you could just sit down there and then get quite more. Fuck this guy. Or whatever it is. Um, Did we get a proper explanation for no. what those things are? They're just monsters. Really I get that they're just monsters. They, but... they kind of are. If you actually, like, look at them, they have human faces. Oh. And they are, I believe, called flymen. Do you yeah, see the human face right on, on the top? top? Yeah. So some people think that this might actually be the natural progression of like of those egg sack dudes, maybe. Yeah, or a corruption thereof. So like it's it's oh here's an egg sack dude, but he's living in filth, so he turns into this, and it's like or this uh, is what happens huh. when the eggs hatch. Yeah, or something like that. Maybe, maybe. That's gross. Yeah, a little bit. That the, the eggs hatch and then you turn into a large fly. I mean, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> okay. There are tons of arguments you can make for whatever the fuck those guys are, though. Ugh, both of them.